Hey, this is Pam, and we just learned about adding and subtracting equations. Our teacher gave us this challenge problem, and I am totally lost. Can you help me solve it? It's 3 minus 2x plus 7 minus 4 plus 44x plus 1 minus 6x minus 5 equals 9 plus 11 minus 2x plus 7x plus 23 minus 4x plus 20. Help! <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that's a long one. Okay, um, so this is a, a challenge problem, huh? Yeah, that's a, that's a long one. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at it here. Break it down into pieces. It's not as bad as it looks. There's just a lot of pieces here. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do here is I would, I would group the things that are the same together um, and rewrite the problem with all of your variables together and all of your numbers together. Sometimes it helps, particularly in a long problem like this, to think of the individual numbers, the individual terms, as sort of modules that you can move around to your heart's content as long as you keep the signs with the left of each number, each uh, term, along with that number. So here you can see where I'm drawing squares around different sections of your equation here. As long as I keep the plus or minus to the left of a set of numbers with that set of numbers and break the groups in between pluses or minuses, I can sort of separate this whole thing into a bunch of little blocks. Then those little blocks can be moved around all I want. I just have to be sure and keep those symbols, those, those signs, to the left of the number with that number. So if we do this, we can rewrite this entire section. And we'll do the same thing down here. I'm not going to draw them all in because you see how it works. Um, but if we do this to all of these, we can rearrange these however we want. So let's do that and put all the variables first and then the numbers afterward. So we have a negative 2x, and we have a positive 44x, and we have a negative 6x. And you know what? I'm going to go through and cross these out as I pull them so that we don't get lost. We've used that one, we've used that one, and we've used that one. Okay, and then that's it for variables in the top. And then we'll do our whole number, our constants then. So this is a positive 3 because it doesn't have a negative in front of it. So we have a positive 3 and a positive 7. Positive 3, positive 7, negative 4, positive 1 and negative 5. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing with the second half of your equation. Um, so we have our negative 2x plus 7x plus 20, oops, sorry, plus negative 4x. So we'll just write that as minus 4x. So we've done this one, we've done this one, we've done this one. And that's it for the x's. So then we need to do our constants. So we have plus 9, plus 11, plus 23, plus 20. So the 11, 23, 20. OK, so we're good. So now we've rewritten all this so that all the variables are first and all the constants are second. Now we can combine the things that are the same pretty easily. If we have negative 2x and we add 44, that gives us 42x. So those two have been combined. Now we have 42x minus 6x. So that gives us 36x, right? 36x. And those two have been combined. Now that's all the x's we have on that side. Now for numbers, constants, we have 3 plus 7. That's 10. And 10 minus 4 is 6. And 6 plus 1 is 7. And 7 minus 5 is 2 positive 2, yeah? So now on the left-hand side, we just have 36x plus 2. On the right-hand side, we have negative 2x plus 7. That's 5x. 5x minus 4x is 1x. And that's it for x's. 9 plus 11 is 20, positive 20. 20 plus 23 is 43. And 43 plus 20 is 63, positive 63. So now we just have 36x, I'm going to write this in a different color so I don't get lost, 36x plus 2 equals 
x plus 63. Yeah, now we just put the variables over here and numbers over here. We'll add, subtract 2 from both sides and subtract x from both sides. So we'll get 35x equals 61 and then divide both sides by 35 and we'll get x is 61 35ths. There you go. That was a big old long monster. But really, once we had written them down in order and started crossing things out piece by piece, it got pretty simple pretty quick. I mean, really, we hadn't done any math by the time we got to here. All we'd really done is, well, no hard math. All we'd done is just add and subtract things that were the same. So write it out in order, combine everything that you can combine, then go through and start simplifying your equation.